A baker wanted to get to know a great guru that lived in his town a little bit better. He invited him to dinner. The day before, the guru went to the bakery disguised as a beggar. He picked a bread roll off of the display and began to eat it right in front of the baker. Well, when the baker saw this, he threw him out into the street unceremoniously. The following day, the guru and the disciple of the guru went to the baker's house and were treated to a sumptuous banquet. In the middle of the meal, the disciple asked, How does one tell a good man from a bad man? The guru answered, Well, just look at this baker here. He is capable of spending 10 gold pieces on a banquet because I am famous, but incapable of giving a piece of bread to feed a hungry beggar. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, year-end story. I think it's very interesting about the guru and his um, disciple going to uh, dinner at a at a very rich man's home, and and the little disciple asks, "What is the difference between a good man and a bad man, or a not so good man?" And then the guru talks about the truth of it all. Look at this guy. He invited us here and spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on dinner for us to impress us, but couldn't give a beggar a single loaf of bread. That is very, very powerful. Listen, we don't know much about goodness. We know a lot about what we think is good, but not goodness. Good is what benefits us. We like to do things that we get credit for. We like to be thought of as a good person. But goodness, that is something far different. There's a selflessness in goodness that needs no recognition. When I am living in the selflessness part of my being and I do things to help people or I am kind and generous, forgiving, then something of the other shore enters into my life. That is the invitation. The invitation to love, to living as love, is going into goodness. It's called benevolence. And if you look at yourself, you have to ask, have I become a benevolent person? What is my benevolence? Well, typically it's about giving maybe kindness to some person and and uh, thinking, well, they'll appreciate it and it'll make me feel better. That's good. But true benevolence, true benevolence is the ability to do something absolutely unconscionably beautiful and take no credit for it at all without there being a self, in my case, without there being a Gregory. My work is about benevolence and I work at it very diligently. I don't take credit for anything that I have been able to accomplish through with this, this thing called Gregory Edward Penn. He's just a shell. There is something beyond what I do that is the benevolence that invites you to join me in a sense of real goodness. And I hope you will this, uh, this year end and be benevolent in your gift. We need your support. Our mystery donor is going to match gifts up to $10,000 this year. So I hope you will be kind, be generous, be forgiving, be merciful. And let me 
continue this work with my BATMO kids that need so much help, my hospice journey, which is a real journey, and of course my usual work uh, with discourses, commentaries, podcasts, and all the other things I do. Thank you for allowing me to be in your life, and thank you for taking the time to watch this little video. Please forgive me. Namaste.